And that then led to this whole notion of a skills cabinet, hence um, asking the secretaries of labor and workforce development, education, and housing and economic development to work together to create an approach and a strategy to skill building and skill development, recognizing that this has an enormous role to play, not just in um, economic development, but human capital development and a way and a path for people um, to find a place, a path, a career um, that works for them. I don't want to ever hear anybody use the word middle skill ever again. Okay? Never, ever, ever. These are high skills. Critical skills. And the jobs associated with them can really move the needle in a big way for families, for communities, and for the Commonwealth. But the goal here is to help people, like those kids I met the first time I went to Southeastern Voc Tech, who said to me, you know, it finally makes sense, this connection between, as you put it so beautifully, Tatiana, you know, the learning and the earning and the opportunity. And the more we can do uh, to build on what I think is a terrific collection of players in this space already to do more, uh, the better off we're going to be. Better off kids are going to be, better off families are going to be, better off communities are going to be, better off the Commonwealth's going to be. And this is a tremendous resource, a tremendous asset. It's one I think we have um, sometimes not truly appreciated um, how significant a role it can play in the future for our Commonwealth, for our economy, and for our young people. And I just want you to know this, this administration, you have our full attention, and this is a place we want to do more.